look at my look look at the way she get, she is bouncing like oh wow this is the definition of luscious locks honey hi there welcome to my youtube channel my name's felicia and if you're new here don't forget to comment subscribe and you know just let me know if you're feeling the video or not you know it's nice to get some engagement but yeah let's get into it so in today's video i'm going to be talking about how i plan to use ayurvedic hair ingredients and treatments to take my hair to the next level so far my hair journey has been a bit <laughs> very pretty. I big chopped in January 2016. So I remember I was doing up new year, new me. I said, chop it all off. I told my mom, cut off all my hair. So she did. Okay, I'm lying. I did transition for nine months or something like that. I did transition for a while. So all my hair just luck off. And from 2016 to 2018, let me tell you, that those two years, my hair was booming. It was just growing, growing, growing. I was like, damn, sis, I, I didn't know I had that much hair. But it was good. So I was keeping my hair in protective styles. I was doing twists, twists, um, twists, and more twists. And that was how I was keeping my hair in protective styling and making sure that it was growing as well as not manipulating it i was making sure that i was not touching that hair very low manipulation i even started doing other people's twists because i was like damn if i'm picking up this skill for myself i might as well make some money out of it and i was a student at the time so i was really hustling i made money out of it i mean can you blame me i was broke so then from 2018 to 2019 <laughs> i don't know if i want to talk about it because <laughs> my hairdress it just went zhoom. I don't know what happened. So my hair was thin at the ends. It was quite weak. On top of that, it had not grown. How can it not grow? For a year, a whole year. I've been experienced two years of growth. One year, it didn't grow. Can you imagine? I was really upset about this because I, I must have taken it out of this one time and I was like, hang on a minute. Let me compare my hair to some pictures from before and it was not looking the same. So 2019, October, I decided that I needed some serious action to take control of this hair because I wasn't liking what I was seeing. So I decided to do 100 days of natural hair. So this is 100 days of natural hair. I documented it on my natural hair page. So check it out on Instagram. So I was documenting weekly, sometimes daily, sometimes monthly, depending on how I was feeling about me just caring for my natural hair for 100 days. I can't lie, towards the end I did get lazy, but you know what? My natural hair page is called Lazy Natural, so you can't even fault me for that, because I am a lazy natural. Even though my hair was flourishing from then, oh no, honey, the back of my hair, there was nothing growing. Like, as you can see, this part of my hair is mad short. And that's because me tying up my hair, putting it in bundles all the time was adding pressure to the back. So, pff, boy, that hair just, <laughs> It was gone it was finished overall that did help my hair and get me into the swing of things looking after my hair making sure like nah i actually need to grow this hair and you know look after it if i want to just have luscious locks like how you're seeing it here let's talk about how i have started my hydrophilic hair journey so i started my hydrophilic hair journey exactly seven days today and look, look at my look, look at the way she get, she is bouncing. Like, oh wow, who would have thought? This is just this is the definition of luscious locks, honey. Look at it, just just look at it. Wow. Yeah. So, anyways, I started using Ayurvedic hair products on my hair exactly seven days ago. I used amla powder. I used cassia. I used brahmi, bringraj. You name it. I use it all. I even added a bit of hibiscus flowers to it. And I started off with a hair mask. Well, it was meant to be a cassia gloss, but you know, the recipe didn't quite work out how I wanted it to. So it was actually a cassia hair mask. But after my hair was feeling so dry that I actually needed a deep conditioner after it. I then put my hair in some luscious twists, you know, you know, just leave it there. Let, let the treatment marinate. I also made my own infused oil, um, again with the same kind of products minus the cassia and i've been using that in my hair ever since to just oil my scalp just make sure everything looks good and as you can see the results delicious look at my hair look at it what a thought, huh? i 
going to ask you to stay tuned if you're looking forward to seeing how this journey plans out. I'm going to be sharing the recipes with you and how exactly I have been using it. And let's see what happens. I've heard some good things about this, so let's see. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. You know, let me know like if you've been using Ayurvedic hair treatments, what your journey's been like. I wanna know more. Like I wanna interact with people who are watching my videos because this is so weird just talking to a screen, you know what I mean? I'm not really, this is not my style, but you know, I said, let me just share my journey for the community. But yeah, definitely subscribe and I'll chat to you guys later.